Hello, good afternoon and welcome to business. The European Union has allocated 43 million euros to support Ghana's youth employment program beginning next year, announcing the initiative in Accra. EU Ambassador to Ghana, His Excellency William Hanna, noted this is part of Europe's support for the country beyond aid agenda highlighted by the President on several platforms. He's confident the initiative will go a long way to help Ghana curb its employment challenges. Going beyond, I think uh, one of the key things that we found very interesting uh, 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 listening to, to what's being said and listening to the priorities is the question of jobs and job creation. I mean, this has come out as a, as a key theme um, in, in, in the new government is talking about job creation and putting it up as a top priority. And this is very similar to what we're hearing within Europe. Within Europe, uh, uh, the number one uh, I think the number one topic, or one of the top topics, is jobs for young people in Europe. And it's the same thing in Ghana. So there's a connection here. Uh, and we feel that, there's, that it's right that you know, when it's a priority in Europe and it's a priority here, then this is something we can uh, work together on. And we are working in that area already. Uh, we have employment programs, uh, technical vocational programs. I, I went to Kumasi recently and, and launched uh, an extension of our technical vocational training which I think is really, really crucial. Uh, and we're working, with, uh, we're working with Germany, we're working with one of our member states, so they have a very uh, uh, well um, uh, experienced system of technical and vocational training in Germany. And so we're, we're, we're putting more money behind that, and that's one of the things that we're doing. And we're preparing a new youth employment uh, program for 43 million euros, uh, that's a program which we're preparing to launch ne next year, and we're already doing the preparation for that. So youth employment is something which, which, and, uh, uh, which we agree is a priority. And in another development, His Excellency William Hanna has urged local businesses to take advantage of the EPA, that's the Economic Partnership Agreement that has been initialed by Ghana to explore their business opportunities and potential. It is an extremely good deal. It is a deal that was negotiated over a long time, and it's 100% of agriculture, 100% of manufactured. That, that's the deal for the European market. There is no, you can't get 100%, 10%. I mean, all, there, there are no duties. There are no duties at all. So that is, that is a better deal than, for example, other middle-income countries get. Other middle-income countries face tariffs. Ghana does not and won't because of, the, of, of that deal. So the deal is good. The question is, the deal doesn't make trade happen. I mean, if uh, trade is done by businesses. Trade is done by businesses trading. And there's the question. There's the question of how, how to develop that, how to see that that market is available. The other thing that, that needs to be looked at also is that this is part, we're still pushing for the, for the wider economic partnership agreement with ECOWAS. And so, you know, using ECOWAS, open, breaking down the barriers in the local market is also extremely important. Ghana should trade more with its partners as well as trading with the European Union. But um, the, the deal, uh, the, the deal is, I say, the best one. But how can Ghana get more out of it? It still has to to use the deal uh, uh, to attract investors and itself to invest in the areas. Uh, of added value. There is huge demand in Europe for products from Ghana. Absolutely huge. Huge demand and going forward in the future for agricultural produce for all the, the particularly for agriculture and for you know, value added on, on agriculture. Cocoa, cocoa products, shea, shea products. And that's all in business for now. Make a date at 1 p.m. on the marketplace. My name is Imano Abwaji. Yeah. <laughs>